subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Rain Fam. And if you guys are already subscribed, welcome back my beautiful babes. And in today's video, I am going to be reviewing slightly and giving you guys a demo using a Juvia's Place palette. It is the Zulu palette. I am so excited that I have my hands on this right now. It literally shipped so quick. Like literally within two days of my order, I had my package. I didn't pay for like expedited shipping or anything. It was $19.50 with shipping. Palette was $17.50, so um, obviously I paid $2 for shipping, and it was, it was literally here within two days. This is the first time that I've ever seen a Juvia's Place palette um, in front of me. I've seen them so many times in YouTube videos or on Instagram or all over the social media. It is blowing up. Um, I've actually saw Nikki Tutorials talking about this palette, and I'm absolutely over the moon for this palette. It is so beautiful. First of all, A plus for packaging. These pans, they give you such an amazing amount of product for the price point. It's insane. The swatches are crazy. If you guys want to see the swatches, they're on my Snapchat. Go follow me on Snapchat. It's always linked down below. You guys will see during this tutorial that this look that I created is literally so easy. It's literally so easy. It's three colors that you put on your eyes and make this beautiful like sunset kind of eye and it is so easy to blend the shades it's it's insane this is definitely my favorite palette now i'm over the moon for it it's beautiful so again this palette i got it 20 percent off it was 17.50 and 19.50 with shipping which is half almost less more than half off of like an anastasia palette and i'm obsessed if you are a makeup person or you love bright colors, this is for you. Now that I know, I'm going to go and purchase like all of them. So, hey guys, if you're interested in seeing how the Juvia's Place Zulu palette performs, just keep on watching. Already my little raindrop. So, as you guys know, I'm here to review and show you how this applies. It is the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. So excited. First of all, my eyebrows are done. As in like every tutorial, every whatever, it just saves time. My eyebrows are done. Excuse these like pimples. Well, this is the pimple. This is the pimple. And the rest is acne scarring. But let's just ignore it because I'm feeling really red today. Are you guys even ready? Like I don't even think you are. I'm going to do one eye on camera and show you guys how it applies. And then I'm going to finish it up and come back when it's done. This palette, guys. Oh my god, and they look used because I already swatched them, and if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you probably would have seen the swatches already, but <sighs> I am so excited. So let's just dive in. I actually don't even know what kind of look I'm going for. No, I was super excited about the yellow, so I'm probably going to use the yellow, but we'll see because I'm not sure, honestly. I think I'm going to start out by doing... A brow highlight. Alrighty guys, so the first shade I'm going to start out with, they don't have names, but I'm going to take this orange, I mean this yellow shade right here, and use it as a transition, and we'll see how it goes. Wow, these are so pigmented. And keep in mind, I am tapping off the excess for sure. Wow. Pigmented. Wow. I'm like so obsessed right now, I can't even like stop smiling. Now that that yellow is done, I'm going to take a, another brush. I'm going to take an Anastasia brush and I'm going to take the fluffy part. And I think I'm going to go in with pink shade right here on top of the yellow. Then I'm going to go back in with a big fluffy brush and take that yellow shade and blend. I am now going to take the purple shade from the palette and pack it all over my lid and I'm going to blend it out. Ooh. 
Alrighty guys, so this is the one eye without inner corner highlight or lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put lashes on and then I'll come back to you guys when this eye is done and I have lashes on. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I put my lashes on and did the other eye. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up and then we're going to step away, do my face and then come back to you guys. I'm going to do my face on camera and then we are going to talk about the palette a little bit more in depth and I'm going to give you guys my final honest opinion. As my primer, I'm going to start out with my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and I'm going to mix in the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. I really want this to be a super dewy, hydrated look, so I'm going to start out with these two. Alrighty guys, for foundation, you probably already guessed it, it's my absolute favorite. I'm going to be using the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. So I'm just going to use this one. It's my absolute favorite. I love this foundation. It's so good. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender sponge. I know it looks super dark, but I have like a self tan on right now that's fading, and this is like the only dark foundation I have but it will lighten up with concealer so for concealer I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in light I'm going to highlight the perimeters of my face Right after, I immediately set it with my airspun loose powder and a beauty blender because my eyes are so crazy. Set it like I did with the other eye. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Medium Light Powder just to dust away the bake and set the rest of my face Alrighty guys, so next up I'm going to do my bronzer I'm going to be using as per usual the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce I'm Using this It Cosmetics Big Powder Brush This is definitely my fave I love warming up my face Next, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to Contour. Alrighty guys, so next I'm going to do blush. I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I feel like it's perfect to go with the eyes and everything. I'm just going to use this blush to give my cheeks some life. The highlight, so we're going to get super highlighty right now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face completely with the Mara Badescu Rose Water Spray. <laughs> Going to fan myself a little bit with the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss and Peach Kiss, my favorite highlight. You guys know I like don't think I cannot use this. I love it. It's so gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight. so pretty. Sometimes I even forget myself how pretty this highlight is. Ugh. I'm going to take that shade and highlight my inner corner as well. And next I'm going to take the Juvia's palette and do my lower lash line. I'm going to do the purple on my lower lash line. probably my favorite look I've ever done oh, this palette guys do lower lash mascara and then we're gonna talk about lips 
For lips, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Malibu. I feel like it's the perfect end to this look, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Alrighty guys, so my final thought is that I absolutely love this palette. I love the company, the brand. I think that Juvia's Place is definitely a new favorite of mine. Um, this palette was super inexpensive and the pigmentation, just look at this look. So richly pigmented. They give you so much product. It's just such a good bang for your buck. Again, I paid $17.50 for this palette. 1750 and the colors are so pigmented they're absolutely stunning and I'm definitely going to be doing more looks with this palette because there are so many looks you can create with this I'm just obsessed and like in love and my creativeness and makeup is coming out when I touch this palette like so thank you guys so much for watching I know that was like a quick little review and demo of using the Juvia's Place palette but I just wanted to show you guys kind of a quick look with that palette and just show you how it performs. I am obsessed and I hope you guys definitely go and try to get your hands on this. It is 20% off right now with shipping. I think it was like $19.50. So this is still a really, really well-rounded palette. It's amazing one of the best pigmentation palettes i've ever tried so if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up comment down below what looks you guys would like to see next or what you would like me to see me review because i know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see me review the juvia's place palette so i can see you guys with this look and comment down below if you guys like this look because i like it to subscribe before you guys leave become a part of the rain fam to be entered in any future giveaways and don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you guys know when i upload until next time rain fam